hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how you can translate your lyrics from one language to another right inside of free show so without further ado let's get started you know it's quite important that you um translate um your lyrics from one language to another especially in the case where you have a mixed audience probably you've got someone a group of people speaking uh, english and another set of group that predominantly speak a different language and you want you have this kind of audience in your church you want to carry everybody along because one thing about worshiping god singing worship song and all of that and uh, to God requires that people understand what they are singing. And that is why um, this particular tool is really helpful uh, in this regard, because at the end of the day, our hymn for singing song that people understand is for edification. And I think that is pretty important. So uh in that case we can get started with this so now let's say you've got a song i'm going to search for some songs let's say we hear you uh these are nigerian songs that i've got here and they are harder i don't know i think we hear you i think i don't know if it's a Nigerian song i'm not a music person so i will drag and drop that by the side to the program panel here and I'm going to search for another song. Uh, it's a common song, uh, Nothing But The Blood. I think that's been, uh, I've, I've been listening to this song since I was young. So, Nothing But The Blood. There's nothing that can wash away man's sin except the blood of Jesus. I think that's what we got in the song. And there we go. We hear you. Uh, we hear you. Okay. I don't know. But I don't seem to find it again. But let's say I want to create a new slide right inside of this place. So I can just go to edit here and then type my lyrics. So I'm going to add the text box. I'm going to type, we ail you, we worship you, um, we a you most I, that's, yeah, most I yeah so that's it so that settles it so we got this song and we've got we hear you so these are two songs we've been working with now if i double click on it it's going to display the song we hear you we worship you so let's say we want to translate to a different language and you know one thing about this uh language model that i use in translating um to a different language they might not be perfectly accurate but to some extent they are really helpful so uh what you want to do is to click on let me just click on this show here you want to click on this button here called localization so if you click on localization so i've got a different language here so i'm going to change it you can just type in your own language here let's say um let's say spanish or maybe french you can just look it up so they've got a couple of languages here so let let me look for french for example so i got this french here i'm going to click on french then once i click translate it's going to show down here so if i click on this button here so i've got the song here if i click here it's going to show the song both in english and in french so we hear you with our nose vous salons. I'm not a French speaker, so I'm gonna pronounce that one very well. So the same thing applies to this other one right here. If I go to this other song, this is another example. Um oh what can wash away my sin, nothing but the blood of Jesus. If I click on localization here, let's say I want to use my native language in Nigeria, which happens to be Yoruba language. I can just scroll down to Yoruba here and click Yoruba and click translate. So it's going to add this translation. Another beautiful thing is you can add it, another translation. So I can add French. I can look for French to display like 
one more translation to make them three so let's look for french here french yeah i've got french here so if i add that translation now i've got yoruba translation and i've got french translation but the problem right here is that because we don't have too much space for that it requires can you see because of the font um it's quite difficult for us to be able to displace this three but let me look for templates that we allow for this so i come to templates right here i've only got template for two for double for double i don't have for triple so uh if i want to start creating a template for that it might take it might make this video really long which i'm trying to avoid but uh, let's say for now what we want to just do is just stick with just one translation so now i'm just going to uh, take off this french and i have the yoruba translation so i'm going to have it right here then click on this double again it's going to use that template right there if i click on it so i've got this what can wash away my sin so so that is in yoruba language so very easy he just translated um from english to yoruba you know like i like i told you the reason why this we might be having this little space here could be because of the size of the text the size of the text because it's not um fit it does not fit in completely into this space so what we can do is we can right click on this template and reduce the font size so let's say we can take it down to about um let's let's just type 50 for the sake of this tutorial so and turn this one as well to 50 oh, sorry <laughs> let's change this to 50 as well so if i come back to this show then um if i come back to this localization here let me delete this and add go back to yoruba again then i translate then I got something like this well i think the problem is not really with the the font size is more about what is able to display at a time so which i think at least is this something that we can still manage for now hoping that there will be a better upgrade on that so i hope you find this video helpful if you find this video helpful don't forget to give me a like give me a follow subscribe to this channel click on the notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you for watching this far and i will see you in my next video bye